One of the things uh, that is super obnoxious when it comes to politics is that people tend to do this really sloppy thing where if they don't like you or they don't like the political party you're in or the side you're on or what your ideology label is, what they do is they just take all these negative things and they slap it onto you and they say, you're also this. And we see this all the time, for example, when with Trump speeches, he's like, you know, these terrible, terrible communists, they're Marxists, they're communists, they're fascists, they're terrible. And he just takes like negative labels or at least labels that there's a negative uh, connotation implied and he just slapped multiple ones on somebody. And even if they contradict them, each other, he's just like, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're all of these bad things, right? This is one of the best examples of that I've ever seen. So here we have Republican congressperson from, from Florida, Maria Salazar. And she's talking about Israel and Gaza. And look at the argument she makes. Democratic about socialism. <coughs> socialism is Marxism or it's the neo Marxist, the way I call them. And that is what infiltrates the people that are around President Biden. Yeah. And those are the ones who are not sending a clear signal that we stand next to the guy, meaning Israel, the only democratic elected government in the region, surrounded by pretty bad enemies and, and someone who did not attack anyone but was attacked. So you see, the, the values are reversed because if you are socialist, you're anti-Semitic. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I've got <laughs> the response. Who's she talking to? Maria Bartiromo? She's like, mm, yes, oh, that's a great point. Amazing. That's amazing. She says, if you're socialist, you're anti-Semitic. Look, these, these people don't care about accuracy, about telling the truth. It's just, I don't like socialists and I'm going to simp for Israel so I'm just going to say, if you're socialist, you're anti-Semitic. Well, what about all of the Jewish socialists? What about them? Do they also hate Jews? What about, are you ready for this? What about Israeli Jewish socialists? What about Israeli Jewish Zionist socialists? But did they, are they everybody, they're all anti-Semitic. If you're a socialist, you're just anti-Semitic. How are you even supposed to respond to this? You know, this is the equivalent of like, this is the equivalent of, uh, of like when somebody on the left says, if you're a conservative, you're a Nazi. All conservatives are Nazis. It's like, what? Look, I'm no fan of conservatives, as everybody knows. But everybody right of center is a Nazi? Is a, no, a Nazi means something. Nazism means something very specific. And to just lump them all in is, I don't know, it's bad. These are bad words and bad things. So I'm going to say you're all of the bad words and you're all of the bad things. Oh, come on, it's just so lazy. I'll try a little harder, for the love of God, try a little harder. If you're a socialist, you're anti-Semitic. Oh my God. All right, so let me play again. There's one other part that I really loved. I don't know if you caught her in the beginning, but she brings up Biden's inner circle. Listen. Democratic about socialism. <coughs> socialism is Marxism, or it's the neo-Marxist, the way I call them. And that is what infiltrates the people that are around President Biden. And yeah. those are the <laughs> ones who are not sending a clear signal. Yeah, Biden is really surrounded by Marxists and neo-Marxists. Yeah, that's really who's, uh, who's making all the decisions in the Biden administration. You do know that we have detailed reporting about how Larry Summers had a lot of control over the Biden administration and Biden would listen to people like Larry Summers. Like, the most neoliberal of the neoliberals. These are ardent liberal capitalists. Biden himself is obviously a capitalist. He's surrounded by Marxists and neo-Marxists. Really? So, so Biden's like a communist. Does he want it from each according to his ability to each according to his need? Is that what he wants? He wants to nationalize every single industry, even though, like take healthcare, for example. He wouldn't even propose a public option, which is what he ran on, which isn't even close to single payer and like nationalizing the health insurance industry, never mind the healthcare industry. He hasn't done a public option. You can say, oh, he's surrounded by Marxists. What evidence? Oh my God. Uh huh. Ah, uh, he's surrounded by people right now in his administration that are actively cheering on, continuing to fund Israel and arm Israel as they bomb refugee camps on a daily basis. The IDF went on CNN and said, yeah, we bombed 100 uh, people in a refugee camp to get one Hamas person. And your concern is his administration is filled with Marxists? That's your concern? My concern is his administration is filled with war criminals. 
My concern is people in his administration don't give a the single slightest solitary shit about Palestinian lives. That's my concern. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I can't. You know what I notice? Like, this is something that annoys me about politics. And I feel like a good indication of this is what I've been seeing on Piers Morgan's show. So he's had, a, to be fair to him, he's had on a bunch of like pro-Palestinian voices and he's debated them on it. But I just watched the other day, Piers Morgan and Jordan Peterson, they were talking about uh, Israel and what's happening in Gaza. And first of all, let me say the obvious. Jordan Peterson is utterly fucking clueless about everything involving foreign policy. I mean, his lack of knowledge is astounding. Yet he's pontificating and giving his opinion on it on Piers Morgan's show, probably to over a million people when all said and done. And the thing that annoyed me is nobody's actually following what's happening on the ground and reacting to that in real time. So Piers Morgan keeps coming back to, yeah, man, what happened on October 7th was horrible. There was a horrible Hamas terror attack where they killed innocent civilians. And I hear that, and I'm like, true, yeah, right, agreed. That, that's, that's an easy point. Continue. And then that point gets reiterated like three or four different times. And it's like, yeah, okay, I agree on that. Have you been following what's happened in the three weeks since then? Have you been following the over 9,000 people in Gaza who were killed? Have you been following the fact that according to the UN, 62% of the dead are women and children? Have you been following the fact that at least as of a week ago, the confirmed Hamas fighters who were killed, it's a grand total of 13 out of 9,000 people dead. Have you followed the fact that they've bombed mosques and schools and hospitals and apartment buildings and you have hundreds of doctors who've been murdered? Have you followed any of that? You have any thoughts on that? Or you just want to have this lazy, broad conversation about... Let me just, I think what happened on October 7th was really bad, and let's have a conversation for an hour focused around that, and I will give you none of the updates of the things that happened since then. None of them. That's just not, like, you're not serious if that's how you're engaging. And to bring it full circle, the conversation she's having here on Fox News in the midst of Israel slaughtering innocent people is, man, it's, let me tell you, those socialists sure are anti-Semitic, right? They sure are anti-Israel. Israel really is such a colossal victim in this situation, isn't it? Isn't Biden surrounded by Marx? It's like, what the fuck are you babbling about? This is so disconnected from reality, but they don't care. Look, she picked her side. Her side is, I'm with the far right. I'm with Israel. Facts and information be damned. I will go out there and build a narrative come hell or high water. Biden is somehow a super extremist on the left. He's surrounded by Marxists, even though Biden's letting Israel get away with doing whatever the hell they want to do, which is what she wants, right? Not enough. He's surrounded by Marxists. He's an extremist on the left. And, you know, all these uh, socialists that are around the president, they're all just anti-Semitic. Even though, again, there are plenty of Jewish socialists. And I, I, I don't even know why I'm entertaining these arguments, man. I don't even know why we're... Why are we even talking about this? Why are we even talking about this woman? I guess it just shows how deranged the conversation... This is on, this is on what's supposed to be a news network. And this is the conversation that's happening. Slap every label that's supposed to be a scare word that I don't like onto everybody who's one of my enemies. Just call them all anti-Semitic. Anti By the way, I love how the right always pretends like, bro, the left can't even engage honestly. They just label you something and swat you aside. Like, they'll say you're racist or a bigot or, or a misogynist, and they'll just swat you aside. What the fuck do you think you're doing here? They're just anti-Semites. So when they go out there and say, hey, don't bomb Palestinian babies... I'm against carpet bombing grandmas. Really, they're just anti-Semitic. Oh, all right. There you have it. Cut the segment. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.